All right, after digging this lead out of a pencil, I am right at about 8.5 ohms of resistance. So we do have enough to measure here. And again, to show that there's no tricks, I'll back off and show the entire length of wire. And bring my styrofoam cup of liquid nitrogen over here so we can watch it kind of at the same time. Anyway, let's see what happens to the resistance of a piece of graphite when we cool it to 300 below. All right, here we go. I'm going to spill my... Take a little bit for the temperature to come out of that fully. Graphite has uh, the ability to generate electrons and heat simply by the standard infrared and through the environment, so it may take a little bit to cool down. But it isn't like the standard resistors. It's holding right at about 9.2 9 ohms as the temperature drops. Let's, let's see if we can lay this down so we can watch process all at once here. And of course I bumped it there. Of course this cup's been sitting there a little bit. This may have condensed some of the oxygen out of the air. So we may not be at 300 below anymore. Exactly, but let me let me do something real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna try to pour in more liquid nitrogen, but I'll let this kind of slowly come down to come down to temperature here. It is definitely wanting to resist getting cold. Anyway, I'm going to set this camera aside and pour some more liquid nitrogen in there. I have lack of better camera skills, I'm not a very good YouTuber. <laughs> anyway. Still rating about 8.5 ohms of resistance here. Of course, we're dumping it all over the. It's coming back over here. Let's see what's going on. I am impressed with uh, how long it takes to cool graphite down. I've done uh, tests that show graphite becoming more diamagnetic as it reaches 300 below. Which, I don't necessarily know much about its resistance, but we're not seeing much of a change. We're still barely an OMA resistance drop kind of counterintuitive because they claim superconductivity when when we start talking about di di uh, diamagnetic and you know, Meisner effect type stuff, but we're we'll let it sit a little bit here longer. I'm losing a little bit. Impressive, just a little millimeter, millimeter and a half diameter. It's still resisting cooling down. It's just extraordinary. You can back it off here a little bit. If you can see it. There's a 
seeing it probably come more out of the uh, Then we've dropped a little bit more. So, my explanation of the uh, DC motor commutator changing its resistance may be kind of uh, premature. It doesn't look like it. Five minutes in, still. I almost want to shove the camera in there and <laughs> see the bubbles coming out of it. I know that uh, Grant at the King of Random did that, but I don't have another phone. And uh, money that YouTube reduces, maybe one day, but not quite there yet. That's just impressive that that just keeps bubbling away. Anyway, we could sit here for hours and do this, but most people get bored after about five, ten minute videos on YouTube, and that's where I start losing my attention span too. Anyway, um, that's what I got. I'll report in the comments if anything else happened.